看到了。哇、wow ！哇、wow ！啊，没事。It's a scary start to 2024 in Japan. This evening, a series of earthquakes hit the country, at least 50 of them, 5-0, 50 earthquakes. The biggest impact was in central Japan in a province called Ishikawa. There, the earthquake measured 7.6 on the Richter scale. That was the magnitude, 7.6, which is pretty strong. Now, the tremors have stopped, but one major worry still remains. That of a tsunami. Japan has started evacuating coastal areas. They've also issued a major tsunami alert. And this alert is important. The last time it was issued was in 2011, more than a decade ago. Again, after an earthquake, it led to the Fukushima nuclear disaster. So how bad is the situation this time? And what do the next few hours look like? Let's follow the timeline. The earthquake struck around 4 p.m. Japanese time. Soon, videos emerged on social media. Take a look at this. Pictures look very dramatic. What about the damages? Nothing worrying so far. Six people are trapped under, under the rubble, but so far not a single death. Some roads appear to have cracked during the quake, plus a fire broke out in uh, Wajima city. Injuries too are limited. Most cases involve just broken bones. But the earthquake has cut off power supply. Some 34,000 homes are without electricity. It is not an ideal situation, but after a 7.6 quake, you would take it. The problem is, the trouble isn't over. Earthquakes can cause tsunamis, especially if they're large and close to the sea. So Japan has issued a tsunami alert. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has asked people to evacuate. First of all, I would like to ask all residents to continue to pay close attention to the occurrence of this strong earthquake. If you are in a region where a tsunami is expected, please evacuate as soon as possible. The warning isn't for everyone though, it's for residents living along the Sea of Japan coast. The highest warning is here. Noto Peninsula in the Ishikawa province. Officials warned of 16 feet high waves. 16 feet, thankfully. We haven't seen such tsunamis yet, but smaller waves have been spotted. Take a look at this now. And it's not just Japan. Tsunami alerts have been issued in South Korea, North Korea and parts of Russia too. For now, things are under control, but officials are not taking any chances. Motorways in Ishikawa have been shut, bullet trains have been suspended and the evacuations continue. It is the right call. Japan has recorded 143 tsunamis in the last 1,000 years. Put together, they've claimed 130,000 lives, 1,30,000. In 2011, it also caused a nuclear disaster, the one at Fukushima. Even this time, there are similar worries. But Japan says the nuclear facilities are all under control. Beginning with the Shika nuclear power plant, there are currently no reported irregularities with nuclear power plants. The next couple of hours will be crucial. Officials have warned of aftershocks. It could determine the final scale of the disaster. But let's ask the obvious question. Why Japan? Why do earthquakes keep 
keep battering this country? The answer in one word is the location. Japan is located on the Pacific Ring of Fire. It's a tectonic minefield. Below Japan, around four tectonic plates intersect. The Pacific, the North American, the Eurasian, and the Filipino. Now think of these, these plates as giant slabs of rock. These four plates, their boundaries are right below Japan. So what happens when these plates move? They collide with each other. And when they collide, they cause tremors. If those tremors are on land, you see earthquakes. If it's underwater, it could cause a tsunami. Japan has adapted to live in this precarious location. Most buildings in the country can withstand earthquakes, including houses, hospitals, and schools. The designs and materials are strictly regulated. Plus, disaster readiness is taught at a young age. You can see earthquake drills in most Japanese schools. They take this very seriously. I guess the point is, they're always prepared. You cannot predict tremors, but you can always be prepared for them. That is Japan's mantra. Just compare Japan's experience to Turkey last year. Turkey was hit by an earthquake measuring 7.8 on the Richter scale, magnitude 7.8. Buildings fell like dominoes. Tens of thousands of people died. Japan has been hit by a 7.6 magnitude earthquake, but the initial assessment is no widespread damage. So the Japanese mantra works. Tsunamis are a different matter though. You cannot prepare against a wall of water. Let's hope things do not come to that. A first of a kind sports show that's played on a different turf. A first-of-a-kind sports show that will always come up with a winner. Are you looking for perspectives that go beyond the scoreline? Hi, I'm Rupa Ramani and catch a 360-degree view of the sporting world with me here on First Post in our special First Sports.